Sure, you've seen videos on how to use the big ink blending brushes, but have you ever wondered how to use those small ones? Today you're going to learn techniques for how to best use those brushes, and let's be honest, they're probably still clean, right? Hi, I'm Ingrid Blackburn, and this channel is all about exploring fun techniques to make the most of your supplies. Be sure to stay tuned to the very end. You don't want to miss any of the tips showcased in this video. Seriously, it's literally cram-packed with cool ways to use your supplies. All the way to the end. Let's dive right in. So first off, we're gonna talk about the more traditional looking one, the small oval brushes. You've seen me do this before in previous videos. I love to do vignettes and corners with this brush and I will throw a link to this particular video down below because it is loaded with incredible technique information on how to properly ink blend with these brushes. You can see here's another great use for the small brush, just lightly tapping directly onto a stamp to help with the ease of transition with multiple colors so that you get that really subtle effect of multiple colors. And I know it looks really subtle here, but it's so striking and beautiful. You will absolutely love using it that way. And now we're gonna move into some stencils and doing some spot stenciling. Let's talk about the use of, for this size brush. This is a relatively small brush. As you can see, it's actually smaller than a one inch spot, uh, little ink spot there. So, you know, you can really get into some decent size stencil areas as well as some really small stencil areas, as you can tell right here. I'm very easily able to actually ink blend just that one holly leaf and I can even get into smaller areas as you'll see right here that's a teeny teeny tiny little holly leaf on this stencil and I'm able to get that colored without actually hitting the stem which I want to do in a different shade as all and also not hitting those berries so even though you know it seems rather large for what I'm doing right here it's actually quite a small blending brush. I have to say that this size out of the entire collection is probably my favorite because I do find it to be the single most versatile brush out of the collection of 10 if you were to do any of those brushes from Amazon or the life-changing brushes uh, or even some of the others. Now here is a very unique way of using it because it's so small, look at this, you can even effortlessly ink blend snowdrifts. And that's gonna come in really handy come the holiday time or anytime you wanna do a winter scene. I do find that because it is so small, I can get in there. Now, if I really wanted to get into a smaller little nook and cranny, as you'll see shortly, um, I do use one of the other smaller brushes. But this one, look at how fast that did that and so effortless. It's a wonderful, wonderful tool to use. And again, if you missed any of these tutorials, I will link to all of them below in the section below. Definitely leave me a comment if you have the smaller brushes and you don't know what to do with them or you're uncomfortable using them. I would love to know which ones are your favorite or what you're gonna try first after seeing this video. And if you're unfamiliar with these brushes, Definitely hold off on buying one of the $50 sets that are out there. Get yourself an inexpensive set off Amazon. I'm gonna also link to my brush review, uh, which compares one of the more pricier sets to some that you can get for 12 or $13 on Amazon. Honestly, I don't find much of a difference and you might as well save yourself a lot of money and use that towards other supplies. Next up, we have linear brushes. Now, these are probably the brushes that most people really don't know what to do with, uh, but I find some great ways of using them. You know, you consider swiping them just like this. Think of it as an elongated eyebrow brush, you know, or something you could put on eyeliner with, because that, as a makeup brush, that's what they're actually intended for. But because it's got such a linear look to it, such a long line, it's very easy to do just this, just pounce in or swipe to create clouds on something or just some interesting drag marks. You know, when you're doing any sort of a, you know, winter scene, you can always very easily add a little bit of snow or grass or sand, whatever it is that you are looking for. But look at this, not just scenic, also great on stencils, especially in those really tight spots. Look at this one particular stencil, we have some stems, but note that I'm actually deepening the color right along a vein line rather than just working on stems. You know, there's really a lot that you can do with these and usually most of the sets that have these small linear brushes, they come with multiples of them in a variety of sizes, which is really handy. And last but definitely not least are circle brushes. I have some great techniques with these. 
Uh, of course, getting into super, super small spaces like these little holly berries, how great is it that you have a different shape? And that's what's really wonderful about these small brushes is they come in different shapes, linear, oval, circle, you know, but you can really add some nice detail to some very small spots, but this is one of my favorites, especially when you have those teeny little areas like a twig coming out of snow or sand or grass, a tree trunk, something. You want, look at that. I could never do that with a traditional sponge tool or a larger brush. I need that really small tool. So definitely consider those when you're looking at brushes. And if you need help and you wanna learn a little bit more, this video right here, it's got great techniques and really gives you the ins and outs of how to create that effortless blending look. And if you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. Subscribe if you're new here. And you can definitely check out my Patreon community where I have real-time tutorials on lots of art techniques. I'll catch you over in that next video. Bye.